from Philadelphia, 15-year-old Becca and 13-year-old Tyler, prepare for a five-day visit with their grandparents while their divorced mother Loretta goes on a cruise with her new boyfriend. Loretta reveals that she has not spoken to her parents in 15 years after marrying her high school teacher, of whom her parents disapproved. Having never met their grandparents, the teens plan to record a documentary film about their visit using a camcorder. At the train station, Becca and Tyler meet their grandparents for the first time, whom Becca refers to as Nana and Pop Pop. The kids are very happy seeing their grandparents for the first time. Arriving at the house, Becca is busy recording all activities with Tyler using her camera. Nana is also very happy with the presence of her grandchildren. Tyler and Becca get settled into their room upstairs, which used to be their mother's. So far, everything seems very normal. Things start out very well. Tyler and Becca are both given the freedom to explore. They are having a fun day together exploring the surroundings. At night, Grandpa comes into their room to give them some information. In this house, they have to obey some rules. Becca and Tyler, are instructed to never go into the basement because it contains toxic mold, and that bedtime is at 9.30 p.m., after which they shouldn't leave their room. However, that night, Becca and Tyler couldn't sleep. An hour past curfew, Becca is hungry, so she ventures downstairs for something to eat. She intends to take a cake from the kitchen. However, to her surprise, she sees Nana walking aimlessly and vomiting all over the house, which frightens her. Becca immediately runs into her room, feeling anxious. The next day, she questions her grandfather about the event that happened last night. Pop Pop insists that Nana had a stomach bug and wasn't feeling well. He then reminds her not to leave their bedroom after 9.30 p.m. During the day, the kids continue to explore. They play hide and seek in a crawl space underneath the house. Tyler hides, Becca seeks Tyler out with her camera, making her own way into the dimly lit maze columns. However, Becca is surprised when she turns and is confronted by the lunging, animalistic form of Nana, bounding towards her in an unnaturally fast gait. She immediately flees, trying to escape. Before Nana can reach her, Becca retreats, sprawling out of the crawl space into the safety of sunlight. Nana emerges, laughing at what she sees as a joke. A few moments later, a doctor named Dr. Sam comes to their door and asks to talk to their grandparents. But their grandparents are not home at the moment as they had just gone for a walk. He claims that he is from Maple Shade, the hospital the grandparents volunteer at. He stops by to check on them and wonders why they haven't been coming in for the scheduled shifts. Then, while their grandparents are still away, Tyler decides to investigate what's in the shed. While vlogging, he sneaks inside and finds in the corner, a pile. He gets closer to see what it is and discovers it's used adult diapers. After their grandparents return home, Pop Pop takes Becca and Tyler through the town. He shows the school their mother used to study at. A moment later, however, Pop Pop tells them to leave because they're being followed. The kids see a man across the street. Pop Pop runs over and begins to accost the man, yelling at him. Becca and Tyler convince him to leave the man alone, and Pop Pop, realizing he's just being paranoid, apologizes to them. That night, at 10.47 p.m., they hear a scary sound coming outside their locked door. The two want to film what's on the other side, so Tyler tells Becca to open the door. When the door is opened, they see a naked Nana clawing at the door opposite them, scratching like a frantic dog. They immediately shut the door. The next morning, Pop Pop and Nana are outside with breakfast on the table. Nana apologizes because she's got hot oil over Becca's computer webcam. As a result, when they are talking to their mother on Skype, they aren't able to show their faces. Tyler and Becca immediately tells their mother that their grandparents have been acting strange these past few days. She reassures them their grandparents are weird, but they're also old, and old people are sometimes cranky, sometimes paranoid, that's just how old people act. In the afternoon, Becca approaches her grandmother, asking her to be interviewed. Becca interviews Nana by asking her warm-up questions. She asks Nana what happened 15 years ago to cause her not to speak to her daughter. However, Nana starts going berserk, shaking violently. That night, at 10.16 p.m., they hear a horrible commotion outside the door. They want to know what Nana is doing this time. When they open the door, they see Nana running past, with both arms behind her back, rushing past them in both directions. Just as she's about to crawl towards the camera, they shut and lock the door. On the fourth day, another strange thing happens when Becca and Penn Tyler see their grandmother staring into a well. Tyler and Becca approach the well to try to figure out what is hidden inside. 
but all they pull up is water. Later that day, a neighbor named Stacy comes over, telling them their grandparents volunteered at the hospital when she was in rehab, and she baked treats to thank them. Later that evening, Becca is in the living room and hears Nana laughing hysterically. She decides to show what kind of television show makes her Nana laugh, hoping it's the same one her mom loves. But she finds Nana rocking in a chair, facing the wall. Suddenly the grandmother covered her own face with a shawl. Becca also goes into the shed and finds Pop Pop with a rifle in his mouth. Due to strange occurrences that keep happening, they decide to set up a hidden camera in the living room to see exactly what goes on at night. Time passes, and they fall asleep. In the living area, the camera records Nana opening and slamming the basement door several times. She picks up the camera and then films herself going into the kitchen where she grabs a butcher knife. She makes her way up to the kids' bedroom and begins pounding at their door. Becca and Tyler wake up, startled. They can hear Nana trying to get in but just stay still. The next morning, they watch the footage and see that Nana was trying to kill them. Becca tells Tyler that their mom is back from her vacation that day, so they just have to avoid their grandparents all day by going out and pretending to play. Becca uses that moment to scrub the oil off of her webcam. They wait until the grandparents are out front. And they immediately get on Skype. The oil has been scrubbed off of the webcam so their mom can see them now. They quickly tell her that she needs to come and pick them up right now as their grandparents are scaring them. Tyler films the grandparents from the window so his mom can see them. The mom is now white-faced and reveals to both of them that they are not her parents, which means they have been living with strangers all week. Their mom immediately tries to call the local police. She tells them to get somewhere safe. But just then the grandparents return. A few hours later, outside the window, they see Nana and Pop Pop in a heated argument with their neighbor, Stacy. They wonder what they are fighting about. Later that night, the grandparents suggest having a board game night, but the kids say they want to record something outside while the grandparents figure out the teams. They head for the yard only to see Stacy hanging dead from a tree. Pop Pop appears and tells them they already have the teams, old versus young. The kids are forced to play Yahtzee with the fake grandparents. Becca excuses herself from the game saying she's got to film something real quick. Tyler who is now left alone begins to feel strange things. Pop Pop suddenly walks away from the table and Nana is seen eating cake unnaturally. The old man returns to the table and approaches his wife who suddenly freezes. Becca goes down to the basement, explaining to the viewer that she thinks her real grandparents have been trapped down there, and that's why Pop Pop told them to stay away. Becca begins calling out for the real Nana and Pop Pop but doesn't hear a response. In the corner, she sees a dumpster and hurries over to it. Inside, she sees something from Maple Shade which she now learns is a psychiatric hospital. She also finds a family photo of her real grandparents. She digs some more and to her surprise, she finds the corpses of her real grandparents. Immediately behind her, Pop Pop has appeared. This is where he reveals everything. He and the woman Becca knows as Nana were patients at a nearby mental hospital where the real Nana and Pop Pop were regular volunteers. When they told them about their upcoming visit with their grandchildren, the two imposters decided it would be fun to experience in their place. So they murdered their real grandparents and took their place. It is also revealed that fake Nana once had children of her own. Therefore, a few days ago, the grandmother was seen staring into a well because she remembered that 35 years ago, she deliberately threw her child into the well. Furthermore, it is also revealed that Nana experiences something called sundowning, which is a form of dementia that happens when the sun sets. That explains why fake Nana is often increasingly confused at nights, and prone to erratic behavior in low lighting. Throughout the movie, other folks from the hospital have been stopping by the house to check up on their grandparents, but fake grandparents have conspired to be out for a walk during these visits. After the revelation, Pop Pop grabs Becca and imprisons her in his bedroom with Nana. Meanwhile, he then starts to psychologically torment Tyler by smearing his face with his dirty diaper. Simultaneously, Becca continues to be chased by Nana. Nana smashes Becca's face into the mirror and pieces of glass shatter all around them. Becca picks up a shard of glass as Nana jumps on top of her, clawing at her. Becca fatally stabs Nana with a glass shard, killing her. She runs into the kitchen and tackles Pop Pop. As Pop Pop starts to get the upper hand, Tyler attacks him and knocks him to the floor and repeatedly slams the refrigerator door onto his head, killing him. Soon after, they hear police sirens, they immediately run outside to find their mom and police cars out front. They hug each other and grateful that they are now safe. That's the ending of the movie The Visit.